Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. It's been a while since I updated, but I figured might as well start it off with something new. Since I'm not really that proactive. Uh, today, also, yes, yeah, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the So I'm a Spider, So What series. Uh, because I'm going to be talking about that, if you haven't guessed by the title already. Okay, so it's basically about the story where a gr where a group of, well, a group of us mates, so an entire class, gets, well, killed, apparently. It's never really specified, but they're basically sent to another world in different bodies, different names, things like that. Now, now, now there is the care. The story has two main characters, technically, because it follows both of their perspective. Two protagonists, really. One's your classic isekai anime character, born into, well, not, well, most of them aren't born into royalty. But yeah, they have a lot of power, it's things like that. His name is Shun, but his actual name is Shlane, because, you know, new na new world, new life, all that. Yeah. But yeah, the st but the main character isn't isn't him, it's, my, it's me, it's, ah, uh, not bad. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, I don't really know her name. That's oh, actually pretty bad. Anyway, her name is, I'm just gonna call her Spider. Spider, she, Spider, in, so, in her original life, she was a loner, and didn't really have any friends, though, oh, a bunch of, though, she wasn't really hated. Basically, your typical introvert. She's reborn as a spider, and unlike your average isekai, she's weak because you know she's a spider. The story of the story just fo basically follows her around and actively watches her get stronger. So unlike most isekai I've seen, she gets stronger through hard god and godlike through hard work and a lot of luck. Luck. One of um, the story. The story is actually pretty mund. The story following her side is actually pretty interesting because you know she gets strong. She's like an actual anime char character, or well, the average anime character. She, she gets stronger with each battle. She's not overpowered. Well, not at start. Start, and um, she and since it's from her own my main perspective, she's more animated. She's more fun to watch. It's all pretty amazing um uh, what else her most she even ends up fighting a dragon while still in her spider form so that's fun it's actually pretty epic so yeah there's that that and the story following shun i can't believe i remember his name and not the spider's name him it is actually pretty mundane until his older brother who is the hero dies and he gets the hero title well, after that, they after that he and his friends go on this journey, journey to an elven village to basically prepare for war against the demon army, army and defeat the white-haired woman who killed his older brother. Simple as that. It's yeah, which sounds interesting, but I'm still only ever interested in the spider. Later. So. Okay, and back to the spider. The story follows her, her getting out of the cave and then being, and then since she was born to a queen arachnid, they she then sends her kids out to go, go get her because I, I never really know. It's probably just because, you know, the queen doesn't like anyone else going out of line. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of stuff that happens in the span of 24 episodes. And all is good. She ends up kill. She ends up killing the queen, and that. And there's that. Until turns up, bum bum bum. There she, the queen spider, isn't the main boss. It's the grandmother spider, who's the demon, Lord Ariel. So that's well, demon queen Ariel, Ariel, who's actually pretty all serious in business, business, uh, business until. And wants to kill this wants to kill the spider. She he actually doesn't succeed the first time because of the, of the spider skill of mortality, which again got through rigorous training. Which as long as there's a part of her body alive, or well, a part of her body intact, she can't die. 
I fast forward a couple years and the and she ends up say, it going protect she ends up going to a small village well or town really well actually not city 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 where she meets a young baby vamp or girl who is a reincarnation she, she ends up staying there and becoming like their goddess spider god apparently so from because in myths there's a spider god and they mistake her for it which you know it's not entirely illogical given how powerful she is um fast forward a couple weeks and the baby and the and the ab vampire's parents are killed and she and the baby vampire who since she's a reincarnation ha, has all the knowledge and logistics of working teen and and ends up surviving um, and before we go that we have to head back to the shoons the prince's point of view you which we which we go for for the for the for the last few episodes leading up to episode 24 or or they end up making it into the elven village only to be invaded by the demon army army and all is good until they actually confront the person who killed his older brother and it turns out it's dun 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 the spider either confused it turns out the two have been the two different perspectives we've been watching the show from are actually years apart with spiders being in the past oh wait a second kumo kumoko yeah anyway the anime just calls her kumoko before we actually find out her name so i'm just gonna call her kumoko okay. yeah either way in the past past the demon queen ends up arriving at, at the town which kumoko is and it turns out that the elven army is actually evil because they're well, or at the very least their boss is evil and a bunch of the elves are evil because they're developing weapons that could destroy the earth or rather take it over over so it turns out the d and the two end up like forming a pact to take and um, the d the elven king which comes with the surprise that the demon army uh, army breaks from the stereotype as far as i know i haven't really met that many e animes where anime where the demon army isn't evil i plenty of webtoons though but yeah they end up coming into a pact and she and kamoko becomes one of the demon and queen's generals generals Rolls. it ends at 24 or episode and it, the show ends there with her be with her in her human form and alongside the other demon generals. I, anyway, I glossed over a lot of the details, but it's actually a pretty amazing series. There are a lot of character interactions, uh, characters who are pretty interesting, and all in all, it's a pretty great show. That's why I think you should watch it. Or at the very least, check it out, because it's pretty amazing. All right, this is Nash, signing off.